हेलो आई एम पूनम प्रीत असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर खालसा कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन जी टी रोड अमृतसर द टॉपिक ऑफ माई डिस्कशन इज थोरेटिकल ओरिएंटेशन टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नई तलीम एज प्रोपोगेटेड बाई महात्मा गांधी इंक्लूडिंग एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग एंड वर्क एजुकेशन एज वी नो दैट महात्मा गांधी वॉज अ कॉन्ग्रोमेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फिलोसफीज एंड who dedicated his life for the sake of welfare of the humanity and he is an amalgam of different cultures and synthesized good from all the religions and then uh, prepare his own philosophy gandhi ji believed that every man is born with certain basic and inborn tendencies and capacities hence there is a need of proper education system which will groom their personalities and develop their hidden talents so gandhi ji firmly believe that our education system would help the students to develop positive character and imbibe with good values and positive beliefs so that he become the active member of the society right from the beginning gandhi ji believed in three things that children should not be separated from the parents and they should live with their family and not sent to the residential schools secondly he believes that education should be given in the mother tongue of the students and thirdly only that privileges should be provided to the students that which other indian uh, children also able to get so his concept of education was based on the principle learn while you earn and earn while you learn and in a poor country like india in which we have limited educational budgets so there is a need of education system which is self dependent and self sufficient so students should develop their own crafts and sell them for the salary of their teachers and pupil must able to meet all the necessary requirements of the school and he emphasized that thrust should be on the content and quality of education rather than other academic or literary achievements therefore he provide the practical solution to this problem that is nain tali which is entitled in the series of articles harijan in a year 1937 so nain talim was to be imparted in the mother tongue and be vocational rather than be vocational rather than literary and self sufficient so new education theme is the word movement and it integrate experiential learning and work education into an activity platform and teachers internalize and innovate and create an agenda of education so that for the get started our existing education system is a, a kind of system which is not meant for the life or gandhi ji believed that education system should be for the life not for the death so jo had a present the education system uh, that have heavy burden of books and there is heavy tuition fees and uh, mostly parents are concerned about their future and they then uh, there is also pressure of uh, exams and also there is a workload of so many assignments so this type of education is not recommended by mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi recommend that education should be according to the life and related to the real life situations so he believes that in education through life there should be a uh, activity based education and students must work in the fields and do the gardening do the household works like cleanliness and all basic life skills are developed among the students so education should be for life and it should be through life 
as a uh, dr radha krishnan in his educational committee report that maclay system wanted to create humans to embody rulership and instead mahatma gandhi wanted education to enable each citizen become a leader without designation and able to leading through his or her personal life of action he recommended four pillars of education in a year 1942 which later on recommended by unesco also in the year 1996 so four pillars of education are learning to be learning to do learning to live together and learning to be learning to no means we should learn what to learn how to learn and why to learn then that learning can be used in the skills which becomes learning to do students can uh, impart their skills into the situations and then third main pillar recommended by him is learning to live together learning to live together means ki all students should live together work together study together and do all activities together fourth pillar of uh, education recommends that learning to be learning to be leads to the self development of the learners so that they become the productive part of the society so gandhi ji proposed some silent features of nayi taleem as started in the 1937 and according to that education up to a particular minimum standard should be universal for all citizens males and females and it is called basic education so then course of education should be run for 7 years and it should also start at the age of 7 and basic education should not concern itself for the present with the pre school stage or post school stage and basic national education must be imparted through the mother tongue and in its method it must be woven around some art of handicrafts all intellectual instructions must be imparted through the instrumentally of the craft chosen and the craft chosen must be learned systematically and scientifically with a view to efficiency and practical results and it must not be learned merely as a mean either for intellectual work or for economic self sufficiency it must be uh, both a means and an end so gandhi ji proposed a craft must be the economically paying and the effort must be made to see that the money value of the work done covers the pay of the teacher the state should provide the rest of the expenses of the school buildings furniture books maps and whole of the apparatus including tools etc for craft taught and the state should undertake to utilize the produce of the craft by which it may meet its own requirements or those of the local bodies where the school is established for any excess of goods produced the state should provide marketing facilities now come towards the experiential learning uh, and nayi taleem so nayi taleem a uh, propagated a model of experiential learning and experiential learning is considered as a perfect learning for a perfect life as experiential learning deals with the real life situations and we follow the experiential learning cycle and in experiential learning cycle there are certain steps followed first thing is first step of experiential learning is concrete experience reflective observation abstract conceptualization and active experimenting so in uh, all these uh, steps can be used in a experiential learning process in the process of experiential learning there is a first thing that is concrete experience concrete experience means creating feeling teacher creating feeling among the minds of the students and they prepare students for learning so this stage is considered as a motivating stage and a teacher 
गिव द एग्जाम्पल्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स लाइक हैप्पीनेस रिलेटेड एग्जाम्पल्स और नेचर पॉवर्टी इलिटरेटी रिलेटेड एग्जाम्पल्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स एंड सो दैट देर इज ए माइंड सेटिंग ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट देन देर इज ए रिफ्लेक्टिव ऑब्जर्वेशन इन द रिफ्लेक्टिव ऑब्जर्वेशन Uh, there is a watching stage and students go to the fields or go to the situation of uh, experiment and observe the things in a mindful way and uh, then learn by imitating that things and then sharing that things with their fellow friends or with their peer groups then third stage comes that is abstract conceptualization in a const abstract conceptualization there is a thinking stage and in which students think about the previous experiences and then define a new terminology analyze process and then uh, make some group discussions presentation peer reviews and also give feedback to each other then at finally there is a doing stage which is called creating journalization or active experimentation in which problem solving can be done decision making can be done and students finally do their experiments so there is a role of teacher in experiential learning the teacher is a guide in this situation and also become one of the member of the team while making the experiments so in the uh, ninth limb we also follow 4h model 4h model deals with head hands heart and healthy lifestyle these 4h are the part of experiential learning and are part of the work education also head deals with the intellectual development of the being heart deals with the emotional development of the beings hands deals with the learning by doing for psychomotor activities and healthy learning style is the part of education for the self development of the individual so in all this process we all also follow the idea engineering as a technique idea engineering is based on the formula that is bw635 bw635 stands for uh, brain writing and 6 stands for 6 uh, people and 3 stands for 3 ideas and 5 stands for 5 minutes so in this technique ki hoega ki sare students jehde a 6 in number ne jo o kiya ki ikatte group de vich baithange aur unna de vich ki hoega b stands for brain wo apni brainstorming de through apni thinking de through apne ideas leke aanenge then w for writing wo kiya ki six students apne ideas nu write karenge page de upar and then after 5 minutes as 5 stands for 5 minutes after 5 minutes wo apne six log jo three ideas unna ne pages te likhe ne unna nu aapas ch rotate karenge and then they add uh, next person add one more idea for example a b c d e f are five students and when they exchange their papers a student jada oh b nu paper dega b c nu c d nu d e nu and e f nu and then further f gives that paper to a so in a circular form they rotate their papers and add their ideas into it and then they can generate new ideas and creative experiments and analyze and uh, critical thinking criticism and proper discussion they will do to gather in a team work so gandhi ji also proposed collaborative activities and team work for the social development of the students so four pillar framework can be linked with the uh, 4h uh, framework so four pillars as we discussed already that is learning to learn learning to do learning to relate to society and learning to be are linked with the 4h model that is head hand heart and healthy lifestyle learning to learn is linked with the head so we can learn with the head as we learn languages with the our brain 
then mathematics then other such intellectual activities so second uh, jo pillar hai that is learning to do learning to do is linked with the a uh, hands that is we can do or perform our skills with our hands so it is the second part we speak our language we make additions multiplications or we perform certain skill based activities field activities clay modeling or other such things so third pillar learning to uh, relate to society that is learning to live together is deals with the heart students live to uh, together and there will become their emotional bonds and they uh, able to apply sympathy or empathy towards each other and uh, help each other cooperate with each other and there is a development of emotional bond among the students so fourth pillar that is learning to be is linked with the healthy lifestyle so learning to be deals with the healthy living and it is dealing with the living with the self and living with the healthy lifestyle work education is also the part of naitali gandhi ji believed that work education should be provided to the students and education should be vocational based so it is related to the crafts work and whatever craft developed by the students should be socially useful and productive so socially useful and productive uh, products may become the hobby of the students and later on become their profession so there is a need to create uh, such activities in the schools so that call, uh, students can able to learn uh, developing certain types of craft like basket making or paper uh, material from uh, waste materials and other such things so gandhi ji concept of education is also linked with the field engagement he wants that students should visit the fields like agriculture farms or dairy farms or uh, some factory and uh, learn from their their carpentry or their agriculture weaving or other such skills and so benefits of craft centered education are craft centered education creates a balance between theory and monotonous learning through creative simulation and self expression it helps in reducing discrimination between manual and intellectual skills and overcoming prejudice through respect for socially meaningful work that meets the needs of urban and rural indians and it makes one feel proud about earning a decent livelihood through sustainable sources of income and community initiative that results in cooperative societies and enterprises so in conclusion i can say that nain taleem based on experiential learning and work is based uh, is a value based education also and requires that all learners should utilize uh, all the resources available and use their head heart hands in the learning process therefore the experiences range from emotional concrete kinesthetic or intellectual and learning process become fun based and collaborative activity rather than a burdensome activity and psychologically also learners become more optimistic and confident as they contribute collaboratively and participate actively in the learning process thank you